a box of t-shirts enters the system. When a box is detected, it extends a cylinder to hold the box in place until all of the shirts have been taken out. A vacuum gripper carries our first t-shirt into the consolidation station where it is compressed over top of a small hole where a cylinder pushes it into our first compression tube. This cycle repeats three times to ensure that the shirt is fully into the tube before it reaches the compression phase. When this process is complete, a message is triggered to the indexing table to allow it to know it's alright to index. When the shirt reaches the camera, red light is shone at the surface of the shirt and the brightness value is detected by the camera. If the brightness value is 0%, the shirt is green. If it's 100%, the shirt is white. Otherwise, the shirt is red. The camera now sends its OK to index instruction to the indexing table while it waits for the consolidation station to complete its cycle of the next shirt. When both stations have completed their task, the table will index to the third position, the compression station. Since the indexing table is PID controlled, all stations must be held until the indexing motion has completely settled. When compression begins, the hydraulic press will extend until 1,100 pounds of force is put against the t-shirt. It is held like this for 6 seconds to ensure both the quality of compression and the quality of embossing. When this criteria has been met, the press will then retract for two seconds to relieve pressure on the lines while it waits for the consolidation station to complete its cycle. When all three stations are completed, the trigger is sent to index the table. In the fourth position, an ejection pin will extend to push the compressed t-shirt into the hand of the waiting gripper. When the gripper detects a t-shirt, it picks it up and carries it over to the shrink wrapping station. The linear slide carries the t-shirt to the shrink wrapping dispenser unit, located above. When the shrink wrapping has been placed around the t-shirt, the linear slide will then move the t-shirt into the oven for 10 seconds. When this time has elapsed, the linear slide then moves the t-shirt to the ejection position, where the ejection cylinder pushes the shirt into the hands of the waiting robot. The robot then picks up the t-shirt and moves it to our load cell position. The load cell determines the size of the shirt by comparing its analog voltage value to an upper and lower limit which determines small, medium or large. Now that the color and the size of the shirt are known, the robot then takes the shirt to the sorting station which configures itself for this shirt size and color. 